YouTube, it's Chris and I'm back in the Bolt again today and guess what? In Vancouver the weather is changing. We're moving from fall into winter and so you know what I thought I'd do today is get the Bolt prepped for the snowboard racks because soon we're going to be up in the snow. So I thought I'd show you that. It's real quick and easy. So first things first with this Yakima Landing Pad 19 uh, system, very easy. You remove these caps and that's going to allow us to attach the bars. So let's do that. So here's all the pieces we're going to need to complete the job. You've got your uh, crossbars there and the, um, the snowboard rack. Uh, and the beauty of this Yakima system is these are just going to clip right in to this track here. So no hardware really needed. We're just going to put this all together. But you can see that I haven't cleaned these since the summer. So I think I'm going to spend, this is a great time to spend a quick moment and uh, give these guys a good uh, clean up and put a wax on there before I put them up there for the entire winter. So this is a great product for uh, quick cleanups. This is actually, I use this for motorcycle cleanup because it's really good for getting a uh, road grime and bugs and any other, you know, uh, mess off your uh, equipment. So the idea with this is it's a quick uh, spray on and then you can quickly agitate and then just wipe down and then flush with uh, cool water. So I'm going to do that now before we uh, go any further. Okay, so that worked out pretty good, uh, really quick, and that's a quick way to keep these things looking good and to give them a little bit of protection as they sit up there during the winter. I'm not sure if you can find this stuff at Canadian Tire. I found it at the Harley shop. Harley guys are pretty good with cleaning their bikes, right? Their bikes always look spotless. So this is what they use, uh, clean off all the bugs and road grime off their motorcycles. So if you can't find that Canadian Tire, have a look maybe at the... Uh, Harley shop. So before we put these up now, while they're still here, I'm going to put a light wax on them as well, just to, um, you know, give them a little more protection before we put them up. So let me do that and then we'll get them on the car. Okay, cool. So I just ended up using some of this light uh, cleaning wax because it's okay to use on all surfaces. You can use it on the rubber and the metal. And so these have a light protectant on them now. So let's get them on the car. Okay, so here's the beauty of this landing pad 19 from Yakima for the Bolt is that we quickly can go from no bars to bars and really it just sits down inside here and then you just close up the door and then you would lock this and that's going to lock the uh, roof rail on so we didn't have to, you know, uh, work with anything. Once we have this landing pad 19 foot on here, the rest comes pretty straightforward. There we go. Then to attach the snowboard racks, you can see this is the track they sit in. So we have to take this cap off, you just reach underneath, push up on the plastic on the bottom and then get your finger under there and just pull that off. And then that releases the cap. And then the snowboard rack will just uh, lodge itself into the track here. You can see that just going to, can you see? Maybe you can't. Yeah, there you go. Just lodges in there and then you just push that in until you get the rack where you want it. With the bolt, I like to have the racks off to the passenger side to make them easy, easily accessible because the bolt's quite tall when you put the rack on. Let me get that finished. All right, so we got that on. Do a quick measure on both to make sure that you've got them the same uh, distance from the side. Make sure that uh, this little wheel is on the outside or this little hole is on the outside on both. Yeah, sounds good. And I'll just button up and put the caps back on. So then when you get them where you want, you're going to just screw down the rack until it's tight. You need to be able to still close the clasp so you don't want it too tight but you don't want it loose enough that it's going to move around that looks good okay so we'll do that four times okay and we're done so now we can just click this back in
Got it. And that's it. The bolt has been transformed into a snowboarding machine. We're ready to go. So you might ask, hey, why doesn't somebody just unclip this and then take this rack right off, right? You could probably just steal these things and they're worth a couple hundred dollars anyway, maybe two, three hundred dollars for these for these snowboard racks. So the idea here is once they're on the car, you lock them down and then of course no one can release them and therefore they can't unbolt them from the top of the rack. So all this stuff locks up. So hopefully, uh, yeah, you're using that um, uh, with the locks. Okay, cool. So I hope that um, helps somebody out. Um, I know there is this, another system that guys use on the bolt, uh, the Thule system, which I haven't used myself. It looks uh, in on videos, it looks a, a little sleeker and nicer looking than the Yakima system. Again, what I like about the Yakima systems is how easily you can convert the car from sort of a, a no roof rack to roof rack mode, you know, basically in minutes by using that landing pad 19. I don't believe that's the case with the Thule system. So you do sacrifice a little bit of height on the landing pad 19 um, system than you would on the Thule system. But like I say, when you have a car that's silent like the Bolt, you want to remove that noise as soon as possible. So now that I've got this all set up, if I want to pull the racks off, it's as easy as just pulling that door open and removing the entire rack system. And then the day you go snowboarding, just put the rack back on the car. So super easy and I hope that helps. Okay, until next time, we'll see you later.